All right, so today I'm gonna to revisit the terminal ascent in 30-06. I'll put on the screen now a picture of the bullet that I'm shooting. Lapua brass, obviously terminal ascent bullet. Reloader 23 powder. Now I've shot these before with Stayball 6.5. I got really good velocity, topped out around 2850, 2875, which I thought was pretty good. The first two or three groups were terrible. They really were bad. And the last three groups did tighten up a little bit, but they were still between like minute of angle and minute and a half. So inch to inch and a half group. So it went from terrible to acceptable, but the groups were actually never good, but the velocity was good. So a couple months ago, I got Reloader 23 and I've been wanting to use it for something. And I thought, this is the time. Let's see how this compares to Stable 6.5. Now I've used Reloader 22 before, but never Reloader 23. It should be almost identical on the burn rate, just a little bit more temperature stable. So I found a load with around the same weight bullet with Reloader 22, and that's what I'm going off of. But because it's not actually the same powder and, or the same bullet, I'm gonna do a ladder test and work my way up just to verify. So the first six shots are just a ladder test, and the last two shots are the same grain weight, but one is a magnum primer and one is a standard primer. Just gonna see what it does, what kind of velocity I get. I'm hoping for at least 2,900. And of course, I'm hoping for better groups. I will be shooting three groups at the end. So fingers crossed, let's see how Reloader 23 does with the 175 grain terminal ascents in 30-06. All right, I'm gonna let this thing cool off and then I'm gonna shoot three three-shot groups. No pressure at all. Um, if you watch the short I did before this, you know that that last group the <laughs> is uh, very compressed, but it was right along with, with what the book said with Reloader 22, no pressure at all. I ended up getting around the same velocity as Stayball 6.5. So I was actually hoping for better velocity Uh, shots one and three right there with the velocity of the same grain weight when I was doing the ladder test. Uh, shot two, I have no idea, honestly. Could have been an error in the chronograph. I don't know. Obviously the SD is horrible <laughs> and the extreme spread is, extreme spread is horrible. I don't believe it's legit. No signs of pressure. Bolt lift was exactly the same. I don't know. Curious to see this is the first three shot group I've shot with the Reloader 22, so I'm excited to see what it looks like. Let's go check it out. Little over minute of angle, you've got one, two, three. Those are not keyholes, it's got something to do with this backing. It flipped up and did something, but one, two, three, about inch and a quarter probably. Not terrible. Let's move on to the next one. You can see the average muzzle velocity and the standard deviation. First group, like you just saw, wasn't terrible. A little over a minute of angle. Hopefully this group's better. Nothing about the velocity has really impressed me yet. It's right in line with Stable 6.5, but hopefully the groups continue to be good, but hopefully better than that first group. So let's go check this out. Nope. <laughs> got two there within a half inch, but then you got one about inch and a half over so it's probably an inch and a quarter group I'm, I'm just gonna say it'll pop up on the screen what it actually is but yeah nothing to write home about yet it's not terrible but I'd say it's mediocre let's shoot the last group the SD was pretty good on that last load small sample size but it is something so we ended up right where our ladder tests said that we would and pretty much identical to where we were with Stayball 6.5. So velocity wise, it's a wash. And so far, 
The, the groups have been slightly better with the Reloader 23, but all in all, they haven't been good. So hopefully this last one is better. Let's check it out. Nothing to write home about. It's about an inch away, probably about an inch and a quarter group. It's not horrible. That, that, that. So all in all, that is better groups than what the Stable 6.5 gave me. Um, for a hunting load, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just slightly over a minute of angle. 28.50 on 175 grain out of a 30.6. I was hoping for better, but that's not that's not terrible. So all in all, I think it would be a great hunting load. That particular bullet would be an outstanding elk bullet as far as I'm concerned, but it would be a good all around bullet for any kind of hunting. I've never really got tremendous groups yet from terminal ascent bullets. Shot them just very little. I, haven't, I don't have much experience, very low sample size, but so far I've really never got tremendous groups out of them, but not terrible either. I know Reloading Weatherby just recently got a couple really good groups with terminal ascent. It can be done. Personally, I haven't done it, but all in all, this was fun. This would be a great hunting load. If you guys had fun or you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Comment below, what do you think? Have any experience with the terminal descent? Love to hear about it. And until next time guys, take care.